them have a look. Uh, okay, so we've undone the bolts around there, pulled them out, and now um, what that does is that allows that to move like that. So if it doesn't come off the end, you just get um, a hammer and, the hammer and a chisel in there, knock it or block of wood on there, and beat it, break the seal, it'll just be a gasket seal. Anyway, so then you're out of the diff, and the thing I'm trying to point out is you haven't even got to undo the steering arm. Uh, okay, so we've undone the bolts around there, pulled them out, and now um, what that does is that allows that to move like that. So if it doesn't come off the end, you just get um, a hammer and, the, hammer and a chisel in there, knock it or block of wood on there. Uh, okay, so we've undone the bolts around there, pulled them out, and now um, what that does is that allows that to move like that. So if it doesn't come off the end, you just get um, a hammer and, the, hammer and a chisel in there, knock it or block of wood on there, and beat it, break the seal, it'll just be a gasket seal. Anyway, so then you're out of the diff, and the thing I'm trying to point out is you haven't even got to undo the steering arm, just the front steering arm. <coughs> Once you've unloosened that, it allows that to swivel around like that, drop down. So obviously this is going to be on your car. Same with this one. Okay, so if you've got your actual stands there, which is you know roughly where you'd have them doing the job, that will stop the um, arm from sliding all the way down, and your hubs are out, and that's it, job done. 12 bolts, um, because you haven't pulled it out that far, you won't have to take your brake calipers off, you'll see I've cut the pipes on this one because we're uh, putting new ones on, but it's unlikely you'd even have to take your brake calipers off to, to do that because you haven't even um, released the pressure off the springs. If you've jacked it up under the axle and you support the weight under the axle, there'll be plenty of play there because you don't want to stretch your brake pipes. Right, okay, brilliant. What a quick thing. It's a heavy thing, but it's a quick thing. Now, uh, I think there's 10 or 11 bolts around the diff. This is the differential. So after you've done your prop shaft, um, under all your nuts around there, which I have done already. Here's one I prepared earlier. Last nut. Now, that's another thing that usually is glued in. So, you've got a choice. Um, you can put a block of wood there, beat it, beat it sideways, um, and then maybe get some form of lever in there, chisels, what we normally use, a nice sharp one, so you can just tap it in there and break the seal. Once you've broken the seal, you can get a screwdriver in there, which I'm probably going to need anyway. Let's try it without. Um, I'll do it facing you. Ah, another little point. And because we've done it without chasing, take, taking the steering arm off, where those swivel, uh, swivel arms and housing have allowed the arm to go down, it's moved it away from the bottom of the diff because the diff needs to come this way. Yeah, does that make sense? It comes through, otherwise it'd be hooked into that bracket. And you wouldn't get the bottom of the diff off. How was that? That was pretty quick. Uh, very quick, in fact. 